race is not always to the swift. More often, the top reward is for excellent performance. One man who knows the master touch better than anyone is that famous sportsman, Mr. Silversides. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, Captain Silversides, please. And uh, yes, that's right. Uh, you see, I've been master of them all. But whether I'm at the Hindi 500, a knifing across an open expanse of water, or back home combining on my farm, it's control, my control that delivers the master touch. Then you agree that a greener combine provides the necessary control to do a winning job of combining? Oh, absolutely. And I'm including several kinds of control. Control of the harvest, from gathering of the crop to grain delivery. Control of the operation. And the control that permits adaptation to different crops and terrain. Ah, oh, you're right on course, mate. These cleaner combines have the master touch. Believe me, I know. I've been over the whole course, so to speak. Then check me, Captain, as I review the main points. You've got the helm, matey. Then let's start right where the action starts, with the SureFeed system. Out in front, the wide, all-metal, five-bat reel gently directs the crop to the smoothest, quietest, most efficient sickle ever designed for controlled cutting. The reel then directs the crop gently to the header auger, which moves the crop evenly from each side to the center, where the retractable fingers in the header auger and feeder beaters comb and feed the crop positively and evenly to the cylinder for absolute controlled feeding. Don't forget to tell them that the crop moves only 15 and a half inches from back of the header to the cylinder. Leaner combines have complete feed control of the crop from cutting to within only one inch of the cylinder. A master touch, I tell you. And a master touch that assures even distribution of the crop across the entire width of the cylinder. That means full use of the cylinder, full use of its capacity, and controlled thrashing action. In addition, the pivot point is located to the rear of the cylinder. The angle of feed remains constant, regardless of header height or crop conditions. Now you better show them how high-speed photography really lets you see that action down front where it begins with control feeding and freshing and the cylinder moving at mile a minute speeds the kernel seem to float from the edge. Also on cleaner combines the cylinder speed may be varied to obtain any desired thrashing action. All of these features add up to control. And that's a power band drive on the cylinder. Strong, sure and simple. And noiseless, too. And there's more of the master touch of control here in the front separator. A wing-type beater agitates and fluffs the crop and delivers it to the front separator. Here, the straw is kept in suspension by the wind blast from the beater and the cylinder. A majority of separation takes place in the front separator as grain falls through the suspended straw onto the rattle and is conveyed to the cleaning shoe. But that's only the beginning of control separation. It's smooth sailing for a crop through a cleaner combine. The balance of separation takes place in the rear separator. Rotary straw walkers again agitate and fluff the crop to complete the separation job. And now for the real master touch. Two fan cleaning system. As the grain and straw from the two separation areas move toward the front of the cleaning shoe, a blast of air from the upper fan is directed through the flow of the grain. So, in a cleaner combine, a majority of the grain is pre-cleaned before reaching the cleaning shoe. The lower fan directs a controlled volume of air to the shoe for finish cleaning, as you can see here by slow motion photography. This master touch delivers more and cleaner grain to the bin. And when we say control volume from the lower fan, that's just what we mean. Yes, this is a variable speed fan, controlled from the operator's platform, so that the air blast can be controlled to fit the crop and thrashing conditions. And that gets us to control of the operation. Tell him about it, mate. Well, the fan control is part of the operation, all right, because the visual tailings return tells the operator how the machine is doing and when an adjustment needs changing. The tailings go right up to where the operator can see them. Tailings are checked on the go for immediate adjustment of cylinder speed or speed of the lower fan to adapt to crop conditions. 
Aye, matey. You're really the master with controls like these. Comfortable, roomy bridge, too. Just what you need to bring her into port with a full, rich cargo. Hydraulic controls. Hydrostatic steering. Plus, hydro traction drive lets the operator change speed instantly and smoothly by a single movement of the control lever located at his fingertip. With hydro traction drive, he can pick the exact speed he needs for his crop and ground conditions with no clutching, gear shifting, or throttle changes. But you really have to skip a one to appreciate how she handles. And the handling and performance are further improved by the true centerline design that properly distributes the weight fore and aft, port to starboard. For maximum stability, traction, flotation and safety. And cleaner combines can provide a lot more too. Yes, you're right. Such as greater reliability with simplicity of design and higher quality with items such as heavy duty load carrying member, precision balanced gas steel sheaves for longer, smoother operation, heavy duty all welded mainframe, power band drive belts, heavy duty long lasting bearings, and galvanized sheet steel for longer life and added value. Add to this all of the operator conveniences found in Gleaner Combines, including a cab with its controlled temperature and filtered air, under pressure to keep out dust. The cab tilts down for hauling and storing. And of course, there are lights for nighttime operation. Say, uh, tell him about the airflow grain saver for those who operate on hilly terrain. That's right. When a gleaner combine must operate on slopes, an air valve opens and directs a strong flow of air to the downhill side of the shoe, distributing the material evenly across the chaffer to get maximum capacity. And I call that another master touch of control. Uh, but don't you think it's time to talk a little bit about control that enables a farmer to adapt his gleaner combine the different kinds of crops, or different terrains. You know, uh, sailing the Mississippi is not like on the Pacific, and the Indy 500 is a lot different from Le Mans. Well, any Alice Chalmers Gleaner Combine can be equipped with a variety of corn heads, from two row to eight row, depending on size. Then there's a heavy duty pickup reel. a windrow pickup attachment, and any of these can be installed quickly and easily. Special models for soybeans and corn. Special models for edible beans. Special models for working in the tough conditions of the rice fields. This GRT California special is equipped with crawler tracks and is working the fields of North Central California. And special models for hillside operation. You name the crop or condition and Alice Chalmers has the Gleaner Combine for your operation. Gleaner Combines come in three basic sizes that take headers in a minimum of 10 feet of the smallest, to 23 feet for the largest. Blow me down! With a fleet like that, I could be Admiral Silversides. And you'd have yourself a dependable producing fleet too. This Gleaner Combine owner started in the wheat fields of Texas on May 28th with his 6G Gleaner Combines. He worked every day, 14 to 16 hours each day, weather permitting, until the job was done on September 4th near Cutbank, Montana. three of his machines to sublet Kansas to harvest maize. The other three, equipped with six row 30 inch corn heads, to central Indiana to shell corn. He started to work in these corn fields the last week in September, and he worked almost continuously until the end of December, shelling a total of over 2,500 acres of corn. 
This adds up to a total of seven months of almost continuous operation of the six cleaner combine, with a minimum of downtime and upkeep. Mighty, that's what I call reliable and dependable performance. And this farmer works his gleaner combine in rice, in what a lot of men would call, well, almost impossible conditions. But his gleaner takes it in stride. And these men are champs. Year after year, their Alice Chalmers combines won the nationally recognized corn harvesting contests. Why do they select gleaner combines? Because when the crop's ready to harvest, it represents their total investment in production costs, in time, labor, and profit opportunity. It means that these growers did everything they could to control the yield potential of their crops. Now, the final control, the master touch is needed to get as much of that crop as possible into the bin. And it's the master touch that gleaner combines deliver in wheat, in corn, soybeans, maize, barley, dry peas, navy beans, oats, safflower, ryegrass, mustard seed, clover seed. <laughs> That's what I call the master touch. A profit control that you can have with an Alice Chalmers Gleaner Combine. Matey, if you haven't already, sign up now. Join the great silver fleet and find out what I mean when I say these cleaner combines have the master touch. <laughs>